Welcome back to another tutorial welcome back to my youtube video and in today's video or in this video i'm going to show you how to create a paystack account for your e-commerce website all right that you can link them together so for the purpose of this video, i'm just going to show you how you can create it we all know what paystack worldwide all right means of collecting payments so we all know what paystack means okay so it's just for you to collect payments online and offline for africa okay this will allow you to even collect payments from your customers while you are asleep if you know how to set it successfully just the way i'm going to show you now and you connect it to your e-commerce store you can easily collect money from your clients when they take when they make orders and you just wake up to credit alerts just like that or if you're running a sales and you want them to use your e-commerce website you can just link this your paystack account to it and receive payments in bulk okay so once you go to your browser you search for paystack you click on it but before you continue you want to make sure that you are in desktop mode okay so you request desktop site so you click here i'm using um, chrome and then you request i'm already on desktop site so let's say i request mobile sites to give me like this so come back here you want to request desktop site and just click on it okay now you want to click on create a free account once you click on a free account you can see you find these countries like i said nigeria just basically for africa okay so you are in nigeria definitely and if you are not in nigeria you can select maybe if you are from ghana or south africa now you want to put your business name okay already i have an account so this is just like a tutorial um to show you guys so i'll be using a different email and all of that so i will just use this one has a testing mode for you to understand. I already have an account, okay? 372. Okay, so I've repeated my password off camera. So it's going to ask you what type of business do you own? Startup business. I am testing my ideas with true customers and preparing to register my company. Registered business, if you have your business name registered, okay, and you're operating legally. My business is registered. So if I click on registered business again, I cannot impute the same info I've repeated for my account again. So I'll just pick startup business. For this one so are you a web, um, software developer no and you must always consent to the collection and processing of your data okay so then you click on create my account right. so now once you click on create my account you are going to see this and you want to go to your mail you know to go into my mail right now email address message that i got okay so you just want to click on confirm email address so now that you've already confirmed your email address, you now want to log in. You know your email address and you know your password already. So if you have clicked on your login, you're going to have something like this. Your business is in test mode, so you can start using Paystack right away to activate live payment, submit your compliance form. Okay, so you click on got it. So now you will now have to like, you know, start doing all of this one after the other. So you're on profile first. These are the compliance form. So you want to describe what your business is all about. So you describe it here. I'm just going to put digital research solutions here. Okay. Now, the staff size of people that you have, your industry, you find your industry, your digital services. There are so many industries here you see that you can select from, for what you are doing. Category, okay, you can pick um, graphic design, other digital services, as you can see here. So I'm just going to pick other digital, business type, starter. I don't want to pick registered again because my information has been there already, okay? imputed twice okay so if you're registered you click so the next thing you want to move to is contact okay so now you want to put in your contact your support you can use general email you can put your number your website if you have one that's your twitter facebook and the rest okay so you just impute the link there so you can just click your instagram copy your instagram url proof of address all right so you're going to click on choose file so you can either use your utility bills 
for services or bank statement showing your current address. Of all that it is, click on choose file and choose your photo library where you snap it to upload. Okay, same thing here to your identification document. You pick the one you want to use and then impute your number, impute your this um date of birth. Now for accounts as well, when you move to accounts, okay, so wait for you to load. So now when you move to your accounts, you are going to see your personal bank account. So you choose an option, your bank name. Then the next thing you want to choose your account number, your name on the account, then you save it. So that is all that you just have to do to, you know, make your dashboard live on paste that. I don't want to keep creating different accounts since it's still me. All right. So we're in the test mode. All right. So you see where there is profile here. When you click on it, it should show you all of those things. So you can check your profile, can check your notifications and all of that. So now this is what you have on your profile presently as you can see so this is what i have all of those things that i showed you make sure you feel everything step by step so once you are done feeling it that you're done and your your business is still in test mode submit a compliance form before you can become life so if you don't submit those four steps you cannot become life and you'll not be able to accept payments to your account i'll fill all this off camera okay so you go to account and put in all your details oh so we are now live no more test mode so now to check you see you just click on this here you can see your profile your permissions you can click on anyone you can check it out to just see you just see can you see this you can see your dashboard. You can see what you can access and what you cannot access. You know, you can just navigate. You see, you can view business performance metrics. You can view your transaction. You can export. You know, see all of the things you can do. You can view your products pages, your invoice, your plans and subscriptions. It also have um, a paid version. But I mean, with the free version, you can do so many things. So now you see. We have all of these. You can view your payments, I mean, payment pages. You can view it. Okay. So this will show you where all your payments are coming in and all of that. You see, you can view all of that. You can audit your logs. You see your product. You can check them out. So in my next video, I'll be showing you, I'll be showing you how to create, you know, for your product page, for digital, for physical, your storefront, your orders, your invest and on all of the rest but with this i hope you find this video helpful you want to hit the subscribe button right away please do if you are yet to subscribe to my channel if you are a returning subscriber i see you thanks for the love all you see this is your first time of coming across my channel i am sure you enjoy watching this video okay so hit the thumbs up so that i can get notified anytime i get to post another video i'll see you and bye for now